to be in the NFL and Dan Orlovsky, top AFC skill groups, excluding quarterbacks, NFL Live, because if it was with quarterbacks, the Dolphins wouldn't be on this list, or I don't think the Raiders would either. Number one, you have the Bengals, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, definitely an offensive team, definitely very good. Number two, you have the Raiders, I think Devontae Adams is definitely a great move. Number three, the Chargers. I feel like overall, they're going to get better this year. Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, mm-hmm. overall great overall team. Number four, the Buffalo Bills, Gabriel Davis, Stephon Diggs, a lot of talented people. And overall, I think they have a very good chance of winning the Super Bowl. Number five, the Miami Dolphins. Terry Kill was definitely a good addition for the team and Jalen Ward last year. But overall, I might put the Browns there. Amari Cooper, Nick Chubb, and Kareem Hunt. I feel like offensively, they're very talented, even without a quarterback playing, excluding the quarterback like it says. So I'm booking the Browns at five, actually. This being the NFL and Dan Orlovsky, this is a part two, the NFC edition of this. So Lex excluding quarterbacks again, NFL Live. Number one in the Rams. There's no question right there that they're one of the top offensive teams. Cooper Cup. And I feel like overall with Odo last year, hopefully he resigns. Adding Allen Robinson was definitely a good addition as well. Great offensive, offensive team. Number two, the Vikings. Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, Delvin Cook. Really talented. And number three, the Saints. Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, and just and Alvin Kamara as well. Really talented team offensively on every side of the ball, really, too. But on the offensive side, they're very talented. Number four, the Eagles, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. Very talented team. And overall, ran the ball, in my opinion, a bit too much last season. But I think they're going to throw the ball a lot more. Number five, the 49ers. Definitely a talented team. Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and got a new quarterback this year. So overall, I would give them more of the most talented teams in the NFC. Some people were saying, where are the Packers? Honestly, they shouldn't be on this list, in my opinion. They might have some good players, but Devontae left, so I think that if if he was still there, he'd definitely be on this list, the Packers, but all these teams have better offenses than they do, excluding the quarterback. This is Billy Chirpour. I'm 77 years old, and right now I can do more push-ups than you. Pat Riley, when asked about potential retirement, which does make sense, why do you really retire? The Heat are in a very good position of being really good for the next few years. In my opinion, I think they may add another all-star, in my opinion, but overall, what do you think about this? And retiring, I don't think he really should. Until he really just wants to call it quits in general. Which I don't know. Maybe another like two to three years. Maybe four. How long do you get to stay as a GM? 